Number four, we need to have the face of an eagle when facing the storms of life. Ezekiel 1.10 says this, and each of the four had the face of an eagle. I've always loved the story of the farmer who found the egg of an eagle and brought it home and put it in his chicken coop. Sure enough, the thing hatched a few days later. Out comes this little baby eaglet, and it looks around, and he thinks, well, I'm a chicken. And so he's hopping around, acting like a chicken, doing what the other chicken are doing. He's plucking at the ground. He's flapping his wings a little bit. But every day, there was just something in the heart of that baby eaglet that he would look up and he would see those hawks and those eagles flying and soaring up in the sky and and he thought you know something I just wish I could do that I'm so tired of being in this chicken coop and so he thought oh I don't care if I'm a chicken I'm going to steal I'm going to act like an eagle and so every day he would spread his wings out and he would start running like this and he would get a little piece of just a baby eaglet he wasn't really ready to fly yet and as he he got bigger and bigger. He learned how he could hop and climb up on some rocks and things. And he would spread his wings out and he would feel the wind currents blowing him like that until finally one day he took a leaf and flapped his wings. And all of a sudden, guess what? He was up and out of the chicken coop and he was soaring through the sky. And you see, some of us in the kingdom of God, we're a little bit like that eaglet in a chicken coop, all right? Down on the inside of each one of you is an eagle that's just wanting to get out. Come on, somebody. And so what you've got to do is you've got to recognize who you are, that God didn't make you to be a chicken. He made you to be an eagle. He made you to fly. He made you to soar. Hello? Amen. Just spread your wings. Isaiah 40 verse 31 is one of my favorite scriptures. <coughs> it says this. But those <coughs> who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I love this next line. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You realize that they have documented it and it's a very true thing that when storm clouds gather, eagles actually get excited. They actually get excited because what an eagle does is an eagle will use the storm and the wind to lift himself higher and further than he's ever been far above the clouds. In the meantime, all of the other birds are hiding in the leaves and the branches of the tree. But an eagle from the crag of the rocks sits watching the storms coming. And when he feels those first gusts of wind, he will spread his wings out. And amen, that's what we've got to do too, my friend. Even when we're weary even especially when we're weary and when we're tired come on we wait on the Lord we wait on the moving and the blowing of the wind of the spirit of God and we spread our wings out and it isn't long before we feel that gust of wind come on we feel that presence of the Lord and just like that eagle will spread his wings out and soon he's riding over the top of the storm Amen. He's riding on the wind. And you might be saying today, Pastor, I'm facing a storm and it looks difficult. It might be a marital storm or financial or physical or emotional. It might have to do with your family or your friends. It doesn't really matter what the storm is. Listen, what I'm telling you today is to put on the face of an eagle, to wait upon the Lord, to spread out your wings and to believe that God is going to lift you up and above the storm. Come on. If you believe the Lord can do that, give them a big hand of praise today. <coughs> Let me read Job 39 for you. It says, does the eagle mount up at your command and make its nest on high? On the rock it dwells and resides. On the crag of the rock and stronghold. From there it spies out the prey and its eyes observe from afar. And you might be sitting here today and you might be thinking, well, Pastor Bob, I would really like to be an eagle. But, it, you know, it just seems like I'm just crashing. It just seems like no matter how hard I try to fly, no matter how, I, I just feel like that little chicken in a coop. I can't get anywhere. It just seems like I'm just falling down through space. And sure enough, it looks like the ground's coming up and I'm going to crash pretty soon. Listen, I've got a word for you today if that's how you feel.
If you feel like your world's going to crash, listen, there is a God in heaven who is like a great eagle. You see, one of the beautiful aspects about an eagle is this, that, you know, they make their nests in very high places. And when the eagle is ready for the chick, the little eaglets to leave the nest, he'll stir up the nest. He'll make it uncomfortable in there. So the eaglet can't really find a nice place to sit down. And finally the eaglet, out of frustration, will try his wings out and he will jump off that thing. And usually he's kind of trying to learn how to fly and he's coming crashing down. And it looks like he's going to crash on the ground. But just in the nick of time, that mother or that father eagle will come underneath them and we'll pick that eaglet back up. Did you know that that's really true what happens? And we'll take them back up into the highest places and then we'll release that eaglet again until that eaglet can fly on his own. That's exactly what God did for the, for the Israelites. He's, Exodus 19 and verse 4, it says this, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians and it goes on to say, and how I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. I've got a word for you today. It might feel like you're falling. But let me tell you something. You're not really falling. You're learning how to fly. Come on. You're learning how to trust. You're learning how to get along. And let me tell you something. God didn't leave you all alone. He's right there. He'll come down underneath you and pick you back up. Amen. Because the word says this, that those who put their trust in the Lord you are not going to be put to shame hallelujah hallelujah did you hear what I said I said you can trust him I said you can believe in him when it feels like you're falling just remind yourself God's teaching me how to fly oh hey, I'm just here to tell you that you have a God that's bigger than any storm he's bigger than the storm he walks on top of the storm. Amen. He's bigger than the storm. And he will bear you up on eagle's wings. Would you stand with me today? Thank you for just letting me preach this kind of simple, bizarre sermon today. Amen. But it's a good message today. Amen. I want the believers at Fountain of Life to be four-faced. Amen.